over the last few days, I've seen a lot of people designing and talking about Easter eggs or dragon eggs, and most of them seem really complex and have locking systems. This is going to be something much simpler, and if you are a beginner and just getting started with Fusion 360, you should be able to jump right in and follow along with these quick, simple steps. As you can see here, this is what I designed, and we are going to duplicate this, and you'll be able to scale this in any slicer up or down to be the right size or desired size for you. Let's jump right in. So in my new window here, we are going to start with a really, sim really simple sketch. I am looking at my front plane here. And I want to use the ellipse tool. Now the ellipse tool is super simple, easy, just like any of the other tools. And I'm going to set this to 80 millimeters by 55, 60 millimeters. Maybe we'll look at 55. And there we've got a nice egg shape, very clean looking. Um, looks really good. Now the next step is to give us a, we need, we need a shell. So if this is the inside of our egg or the outside of our egg, depending on how you want to do this, you can add a shell. So I will select our ellipse and do a simple offset. And I like to do an offset of two millimeters. And I'm going to put this on the outside of the original sketch and say, okay, so now I've got two lines here. And if you notice, we have the shell of an egg. So with a couple extra steps, we should be able to jump in and do two simple revolves and be done. Quick line, we are going to draw a line. Now I need to think and say, if these eggs are, or if this, if these top and bottom shells are going to fit together, there has to be some sort of, um, catch or shelf for them to sit on. So I need to, des to design that in really quickly. I'm going to come in, drop down about three millimeters and draw a straight line across. And now I've separated the egg into two. The next step is to create your ledge or the shelf. Now the top of the egg needs to go on the outside of the bottom. So I'm going to come in here and try to find the middle. Uh, usually what I like to do is start on this edge, come across to one millimeter because I know that we're set to two and set that right there. The next step is to come up and I would need to go past the halfway mark. And I like to double this distance that I have here. And so we are going to select here. And we're going to try to come up uh, about three millimeters. And set that there. And then the next step is to come across and make sure we get this right on the line. And you can see we have this shelf for the top and bottom to sit on. Now, when you print this, you are going to need to add supports on the top shell on the inside and on the bottom shell on the outside. and what you see here in the time lapse they come off super easy and they're very very easy to to remove now i am missing one other piece that i need to add which is just another line and i need to cut this right down the middle and make sure that you are longer than your shape on both sides because we're going to use just one quarter of these shapes. So here's, here's a quarter that we're going to use for a revolve. And down here, you're going to see a quarter that we're going to use for the revolve tool. So we are done with this sketch. So I'll say finish sketch. And I'm going to come up here to my revolve tool. If your revolve tool is not on your top tool panel, just click, come down to revolve. And I'm going to select this top right quarter of the egg. And then I'm going to select this axis that I drew in and a revolve, make this a new body, say, okay. Now I've got this egg design. You can see the shelf right here for it to sit in is all there. And it looks really, really good. Now I need to come back, turn on this sketch that went away and jump back to the front. 
so I can see this section here. And so I'm gonna do another simple revolve. I'm gonna need to zoom in for this because I need to grab this piece and this little piece up here needs to revolve. Uh, and I'm gonna, while I'm doing that, I'm going to turn off that body so I can see what this is gonna do. And I wanna make this a new body. We're gonna select this same axis that we drew in. And again, we have the revolve done. Say, okay. And we've got the bottom of our egg. So really, really quickly, turn this off, turn on the top, we have an egg. Now you can set the center line wherever you want. You can move it up, you can move it down. You could bring it all the way up here towards the top if that's something that you would like to do. That's totally up to you. But this is the simplest, easy way I have found to make these eggs. And because we're not adding an offset, so if we look at this lip here, we're not adding an offset to this. They're gonna fit really snug, which is going to make sure that your egg doesn't pull apart easily. The last step you would have to do is to individually export your top section of the egg and the bottom section of the egg as uh, STL, and then you can send that to your slicer. If you wanna see how I'm gonna slice this egg, stay around, stick around to the next video where I'm gonna put this into Bamboo Studio, add fuzzy skin to it, and turn it into a dragon egg. If you like this video, please hit that like button, share it, or subscribe to the channel where we talk about everything that you need to know to become a better 3D printer and a better designer. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next time.